Dan kali ini kita akan melanjutkan uh, Hogwarts Legacy yang di video sebelumnya kita telah pergi ke hutan terlarang dan menemukan sebuah map chamber dan kali ini kita akan melanjutkan dan sekarang adalah quest flying class oke langsung saja kita belajar terbang kita langsung teleport Aduh, belum bisa teleport ya ke sini ya. Kalau gitu jalan kaki aja. Let's go. Uh, jadi flying class ini kelas belajar terbang menggunakan sapu terbang. Nah, setelah Uh, kita belajar terbang kita akan bisa membeli sapu terbang di Hogsmeade Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll Wait. leave that to professional Quidditch players. Oh. Like the Toyo Hashitengi. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Okay. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Up. Nice. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Bentar guys, kita uh, cek aktifin subtitle. Bentar, bentar. Uh, oh, ya kan. Ring in the okay. courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. <laughs> This will take some getting used to. I wish I had my own broom. Nice balance. Yeah, uh, nice. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> wow! Hello. Nice day for a flight. Aha! Brilliant! Uh, 
Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Um, sayangnya ini ya guys, nggak ada Quidditch di tahun di game ini. Kalau ada seru. Wow. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Um. I like the sound of that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice wow. to get above it all, isn't it? the gardens the hufflepuff common room windows just peek out a bit claustrophobic for my taste how is ever flying so quickly here's something handy to know lean forward for a burst of speed helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation l2 for a burst of speed while in for red flight <laughs> now that's more like it You sure you're not part? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I oh mean, yeah, look at it. And the owlery. That's itu. a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and the jaunt around Hogwarts. Nah, itu This lapangannya. Lapangan Quidditch. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Oh. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Poinnya dikurangin, Chin guys. Up. That was some rather good fly. Karena nggak patuh ya. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Yeah, I have no regret. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky.
Alright, saatnya kita uh, membeli sapu terbang. Kita langsung saja ya, teleport ke Hawksman. Mana ini ya? Akhirnya kita bisa membeli sapu terbang. Sometimes it seems all right. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? I'll be Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Uh, yeah. Kita lihat. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Uh... That item is of the highest quality. item is of the highest quality. Hmm. Yang ini katanya uh, kualitas terbaik. Oke, okay, kita beli yang ini aja. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Uh. Okay. That Last sounds idea. intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Well, Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Looks <laughs> mean, here I come. Okay. Akhirnya kita punya sapu terbang dan sekarang kita harus uh, menemui email dari Reyes at the Quidditch Beach
sayang banget nggak bisa main Quidditch ya di sini karena hey, kata you, Gryffindor. kepala sekolahnya kata kepala sekolahnya uh, Quidditch tahun ini ditunda. Amelda Ways, I'll be weak, sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Okay, let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Okay, focus. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Ah, nggak kena. Nice. Nice. Wah, wow, ini stasiun kereta yang di Harry Potter. Nice. Wah, waduh, kehilangan keseimbangan kita. Okay, finish. This is rather fun. Nice. Kita memecahkan rekor. Ah, uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah. Uh, <laughs> fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Okay. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. All right. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. Okay. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Okay. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You okay. can check your time and start the race. Okay. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albi Weeks. Okay, kita check podium untuk melihat ranking berapa kita. Wah, ternyata ranking dua. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Masih ada yang ranking satunya. Hmm. Oke, okay, lanjut kita kembali ke Hogsmeade.
does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? With something to report, I hope. Yes. Mr. Wheat, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. <sighs> Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Sure. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Okay, sekarang kita cek ada siapa lagi. Kita coba yang ini In the shadow of the undercraft Kita akan bertemu Sebastian Dan belajar spell baru Confringo Alright uh, Langsung teleport saja Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Okay. There's a secret passage just here. Okay. It's well disguised. Secret passage. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play golf zones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. 
We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His oh. wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. Yeah, he has yeah, no love lost yeah. for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, wow. one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Oh. Obsessed with blood status, most wow. of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Berarti ominous itu kakek moyangnya Voldemort dong. Ya enggak sih? Turunan Slytherin, Salazar Slytherin. It does sounds dangerous. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Mm. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Okay. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best. Uh. Mana tadi spellnya? Ini ya. Intact. Have a go at those candelabra. Good for you. Nice work. Oh. How's it feel? It's a tad Nothing. hot. You'll buat, get used to it. Buat jarak jauh enak ini spell. That's it. I think I've got it. Daripada insidio nggak nyampe apinya nggak itu nggak jauh kayaknya ini lebih bagus. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. 
Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. All right. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Uh, Ominous, isn't it? Uh, I believe we have potions together. And uh, herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh... I stumbled up on it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passage where- Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. <laughs> Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Um. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Berantem tuh pasti di dalam meminis sama Sebastian. Oke. Okay. Uh, baru 35 menit ya. Kita bisa satu kali quest lagi. Professor Weasley Last week, I performed a knee reversal hex on a second year. It was an utter triumph. Akio.
Let me answer. Professor Weasley? Hmm... Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I Merlin's beard I see you've wasted me no time Merlin. well done shall we after you professor Tangled Merlin What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ah. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Bentar, bentar. Mana Evanesco? Oh, ini dia. Uh, kita pindahkan ke sini. Oke. Okay. Evanesco. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Okay. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Barney. Is that... Uh. Goodness! My old school bag! I wondered where that had got to. <laughs> Can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Anjur. Wow. In 
indah sekali. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Oh, bola Quidditch. Perhaps you should Kuning. summon your kid to find out. <laughs> eh? Coba ada apa di sini? Kotak? Oh, bukan. Uh, Ah, oke. Okay. Tapi penuh gearnya, waduh. Tadi lupa jual ya di itu di Oxmet. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deek. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deek was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deek was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deek is honored to meet you. Deek has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Close your eyes, close your eyes. to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. 
I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Conjuring spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay. Sekarang kita coba untuk uh, conjuring something. Potting table. Bentar. Uh, buat rotasi pakai R1. Oke. Okay. Terus. Apa lagi? Back. Um, ini kali ya, iya potong table. Uh, di mana? Sudah sini aja. Hmm. Well done. Okay. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Oke, okay, mungkin uh, sekian dulu untuk video kali ini. Uh, jangan lupa like, comment, and share kalau kamu suka dengan video ini dan jangan lupa untuk subscribe. Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Bye bye.